Hello everybody, this is Stringing Emma back to kick off round two for Group C. We had some belt in round one matches in Group C and now we're on to, group, now we're on to round two. So let's have a look at our fight card for this session. Up first we are going to see Mr. Ferry going up against Kaz. Our finalist from last year, Nirvan, taking a crack at Silver Knights. Then we'll have Team Argentina taking on a Ravgrum. All that before our main event of this session. It is a clash of eel carcarias as Dino Smash meets Cayman Rider Chimera. That's going to be a good main event. Right, without further ado, let's get on with our first match. Right, in the red corner, representing Mr. Ferry, we have got a Tyrannosaurus. Now this T-Rex definitely pulled its weight in Mr. Ferry's bonus point win. I think they got a bonus point win, didn't they? Well, I know they won the f they in their first round. But it's going to be tough, because in the blue corner, for Kaz, we have got this Joe Boria. And, well, we all saw how hard this Joe Boria can hit with that Hydro Cut. As, as Cayman Rider Chimera can uh, relate. <laughs> that Hydro Cutter hit hard. And that was against a Pachyrhinosaurus. So... This thing's heroic type, so imagine the damage it could do to this T-Rex if it gets off Hydro Cutter. Well, the Hydro Cutter's gonna get triggered after that first hit from Mr. Fairy. Ooh, good start from Mr. Fairy so far. Actually, no, I think this T-Rex has Dino Stuffer, doesn't it? Hi. Oh, here we go. Massive hit. Oh, this is going to be big. I think this might actually be lethal. I'm not even exaggerating. Then. Oh, that's going to do it. The Aqua Javelin going to kill the T-Rex. Massive hit by Joe Boria. And Kaz has done it again. Well... Coming in next for Mr. Fairy, we got Alpha Iguanodon. Well, it can't rely on the T-Rex anymore. Because it's dead. Not cut in half by Hydro Cutter. Wow. Massive hit that was. Different kind of opponent, the Iguanodon, though. Hmm. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, random number generator. Thank you. And that's another hit from Joe Boria. This is a good start from Kaz. I mean, that's the difference though, because that's both of our guys have had two hits apiece. But look at Kaz, is Joe Boria, and look at look at what Mr. Ferry's done. To. That's the difference, isn't it? That massive hydro cut there. Oh, oh, here comes Ocean Panic. Is it time to panic if you're Mr. Fairy? I think it might be. Oh, Falmosaurus here, gonna slam into the Iguanodon. Now, will a shockwave effect take place? Yes, it does. And that's only gonna extend Kaz's lead in this match. Right, it's gonna go for scissors. Okay, there's another tie. No ocean panic this time. But the ocean panic is gone there, so thanks to the blunder effect of the Iguanodon. So that's definitely useful, and it will stop Ocean Panic. Ooh, a much needed Alpha Dart, yeah. Ooh, it's the first time this tournament. What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? We're all soon gonna find out. Okay, that should do it. Bonk. Curtains for Joe Warrior, but it certainly pulled its weight. Right, coming in next. For Kaz, we have got Ferrazinosaurus. Now, this Ferrazinosaurus does have the claw blade. It's a very solid dinosaur, you have to say. And Kaz still has a decent lead in this match. But there was a crucial hit that from Mr. Ferry. Can't afford to get hit by another Hydro Cutter. Okay, that crit's going to spell curtains for Alpha Iguanodon. And Mr. Ferry's going to be down to their last dinosaur. Elemental power activate in there. That's going to help Kaz's cause. Right, coming in next for Mr. Ferry. We have got the Pachyrhinosaurus. 
Well, it's all on this fella now. Um, he's got the uh, lightning spear, the thunder bazooka. And Pac Uranosaurus does have a good hitting crept. He's gonna need it. Oh, that's another crit. Elemental power is going to max up as well. That's not good for Mr. Fairy, but very good if you cares. <laughs> and the secret move has been triggered, so that definitely makes things worse for, Mis for Mr. Fairy. Oh, that's another hit on the board. That's not good. That's the losing bonus point secured anyway for Kaz. But they want more. They want the bonus point win. Oh, oh, hang on. We got a Thunder Bazooka. Mr. Ferry not beaten yet. Boosh. But, yeah. Minimal damage there with the type disadvantage and the elemental power buff. Things not looking good for Mr. Ferry. We have seen some stranger things in this tournament, though. Another tie. I feel like it's only a matter of time. Another tie. I think is Kaz going to win via the ties? Nope, he's just going to get the hit to finish the job anyway and secure the bonus point win. Much more like it from Kaz. They suffered a bonus point defeat in their first round against Cayman and now they got a bonus point win in round two against Mr. Ferry. And as for Mr. Ferry, well... <laughs> Maybe a bit of an over-reliance on the T-Rex, methinks. Right, on to our next match. Okie dokie, in the red corner, representing Navan, we have got an Allosaurus Atrox. Navan suffered their first ever group stage defeat last time out in the main event against Dino Smash. They'll be looking to bounce back here. Now, I will say, they do hold the record for most consecutive wins in a single tournament at nine. Well, tied with Maastrician as well. Right, in the blue corner, representing Silver Knights, we have got a Uteraptor. Silver Knights enjoyed a good start. I think they did, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure they won. <laughs> I can't remember now. Been a while ago since I did round one for this group. Uh, we are on the lightning field, which favours nobody. Yeah, let's be honest. Nine is probably not... That record is not going to get beaten. You know, it could get beaten in this tournament, mind. Because you do play more than ten matches in this tournament. You obviously... If you win the tournament, you have... The seven matches in the group stage. Then you have last 32 round, which is eight. Last 16, which is nine. You basically have 12 matches. So it can be done. But I personally don't think so. And that's a good hit there from the bar, getting the Alpha Dark going. Ooh, what's it going to land on? We're going to find out. Oh, it's a teddy bear. Bonk. <laughs> what's our teddy bear made out of? Lead? The Dino Illusion getting triggered then. Pretty weak attack by the Allosaurus Atrox. But, you know, that's the risk you get with Alpha Dot sometimes. Now, I will say, the Alpha Dot can go through the Dino Illusion, as does all the Alpha moves, I believe. Except for Dino Stuffer and Tie Bomb. And there's probably a few, like, and the food cards as well. I don't think they go through Dino Illusion. But the ones like Banana Surprise, the Alpha Trooper moves, Alpha Dart, Softening Beam, they do go through Dino Illusion. But Navan's not going to get that chance because the Al Atrox is going down. Right, coming in next for Navan, we got a Super T-Rex. A weight load on two. Well, he needs to get rid of this Dino Illusion for a start. Now, the Uteraptor is on relatively low health, so... If he can get a couple of ties, you know, maybe chip away at its health, get rid of it before... Without needing to hit through the Dino Illusion... We'll see what happens. It's a tie. But this is a good start from Silver Knights. Very steady. And another hit on the board. 
This is not good for Navan. Right, that's once. Needs this hit here to get rid of this Dino Illusion at least. Okay, there it is. Dino Illusion finally get going. Just in time for the Awaken Mode. Elementor Fusion. Could be a big moment, this could be. Oh, and the fan gets the hit. Crucial Magma Blaster that could be. Uteraph is going down. Now, the T-Rex will lose half his health, so Silver Knights will still have a decent lead. But, at least he's avoided that scenario of possibly going 2-0 down. Oh, and actually, this Pentaceratops is going to have terrain advantage, isn't it? So Silver Knights is going to get the next hit in this match, which is going to be a scissors hit. Hmm, curious. I forgot about that. Very sloppy today. But yep, yeah, there's that terrain advantage playing out. Ooh, now, the elemental power activated. Now Navan's in a bit of trouble here because if this T-Rex goes down, Sukamimus Alpha Suko comes in next with tight disadvantage. So Navan needs to get hits here with this T-Rex and that's a tie. Navan really flirting with disaster here. Yeah. Right. Coming in third, we've got Alpha Sukamimus. It's going to have tight disadvantage against that Penty Ceratops. That's going to be a big problem. Especially given its crit is a, is a water move as well. Well, you have to say, things looking good for Dino Sm for Silver Knights in this match. Okay, that's a tie. That's not really going to help. Levan really needs a crit. <laughs> going to be a lot of ties, I think. Oh, that's a Gatlin spark. That's not good. That's going to be big damage to the Suko now. The Futaba Cannon isn't triggered here, so type advantage will not apply. But elemental power is going to increase the damage. Oh, but yeah, he killed it! Um. Okay. Well, uh. With a bonus point win for Silver Knights. And Navan going 0 and 2. Right, on to our third match. Alrighty then, in the red corner, representing Team Argentina, we have got a Mapusaurus. Hmm. Interesting field, we're on the meadow field, which is good news for a Ravgrim, because they do have that Alpha Ranosaurus in third. Magnosaurus, you know, he had a good start before it died. Right, in the blue corner, representing the Ravgrim, we've got Acrocamphosaurus. Acrocamphosaurus is blitz type, so it will go for two crits here. Now, last time against Silver Knights, I believe it did get two crits off, and it wasted the Uteractor in seconds. Wonder if that'll happen again. But with this terrain, maybe the balance has shifted in Ravgrim's favour in this match. Because I feel like this is going to be a very even contest. I hope that was paper. I'm going to find out now. And it was. Oh, no crit this time from Ravgrim. It's Mapusaurus getting off the first hit. Right, paper crit number two. Oh, he does get the crit this time, though. Good response from Ravgrim. And after all that, we are pretty much level packing. Oh, that's going to be a big crit from Mapusaurus. It's a magma blaster. Boosh. Massive hit there by Team Valenti. He killed it. Jeez. You guys are playing savage today. <laughs> Right, coming in next for a Ravgrim, we've got Super Kamarasaurus. It does have type advantage over Mapusaurus, and he's probably going to need it. <laughs> wow! I mean, Mapusaurus, for a fire type, has very balanced moves, so I didn't expect it to kill him. But, well, here we go. Ooh, Kama does get the next hit on the board. With the type advantage, the damage will be increased. Ooh. 
Ooh, but Mapusaurus does respond with the next hit, but look at that. Not much damage done. Oh, that's a tie. We don't see Ocean Panic, though. Oh, no, another one. Another Magma Blaster. Is this going to be lethal? It shouldn't be, because, I mean, the pipe is advantage, right? Right? Yeah, I didn't think... Oh, hang on. A Volcano Burst. I don't think the damage will be enough for lethal, though. Oh, only just, though. I tell you what, this Mapusaurus is mopping up. Right. Well, he, he's got nothing to lose here, so... Oh, it's a tie. Oh, uh, okay. The Mapusaurus did die in that tie, so... Because that's the case, I will give Oravgrim the next hit. Because the Mapusaurus is technically dead. But... For whatever reason, the game programs it, doesn't program ties very well, so. I will give this Oranosaurus the next hit, so the Mapusaurus goes down. And because this Oranosaurus does have terrain advantage, it will get a hit on Carnotaurus, which will be a crit. Right, I'll just uh, do this real quick. Right. Coming in next for Team Argentina, we've got Carnotaurus. Now, it does have type advantage over the Uranosaurus, so despite the terrain advantage that Uravgrim has, I do fancy Team, team Argentina here to get the job done. They'll have to get hit by a crit first, though, because of the terrain advantage that the Alpha Rano has. Hate it when that happens, when two dinos just die in a tie, and the game programs it so that one of them survives just gets like a chunk of health back out of nowhere it's stupid really. but it is what it is we have a solution for it it's fine what's not fine for a ravgrim though is that dino illusion that's gonna make it even harder to kill this car now. that's a tie Ooh, that's another tie Oh, okay, there goes the Dino Illusion. Good strike from the Alpha Ranosaurus. Putting up a good fight here, fair play to it. But we all know, that crit can change everything. But the Carnotaurus is just not going for it. Oh, he poisoned it. That's useful. Oh, come on, really? Another Dino Illusion? Okay, well, a Ravgrim could do with some ties here. I don't think he won't mind. I don't think he'll mind ties too much. Oh, you'll mind that though. That's going to be a big hit from the Carno. At least it's not a crit. Yeah, look at the difference. Type advantage, man. Type advantage. At least it's not a crit though. And a tie will get past the Dino Illusion as well. So let's we'll see what happens. Oh no, there it is. I mean. Let's be honest, minus the rock hit, this hurricane beat was lethal. It's going to be game over for a Ravgrim, and Team Argentina are going to enjoy their first win of the tournament. And it's going to be a bonus point win to boot. Yeah, that was a tough map. Those Magma Blasters were absolutely crucial there. And Team South America, Team, Team Argentina getting it done. Now then, on to our main event of this session. Okie dokie, in the red corner, for Dino Smash, we have got a Taurosaurus. Ooh, interesting field this. Now, since both of our guys have Lightning Dinosaurs in first, and both of them would normally have terrain advantage, they'll both cancel each other out, so no one will get terrain advantage yet. Right, in the blue corner, representing Cayman Rider, we got Packy Rhinosaurus. This is going to be very close, I feel. At least I hope it is. <laughs> well, terrain advantage isn't a factor in this match, because both of these guys will cancel each other out. So moves will be generated on normal. Let's get this event on. Both of these two do have hard-hitting crits, and both of them do have Omega Eocarcaria in second. Ooh. 
Ooh, that's a good start for Dino Smash, getting that attack burst going. I mean, little damage done there, but that's going to change with the attack burst. Ooh, that's another tie. Another tie. And that's yet another tie. <laughs> going to be a summary of this match, I think, because it's going to be such a tight contest. But neither of them given an inch so far, just that solo hit from Dino Smash. Well, make that two hits from Dino Smash. And Cayman not getting a hit yet in this match. And Paki Rhinosaurus is going down like a lead brick. So in the Battle of the Lightning Dinosaurs, it is 1-0 the Dino Smash. <laughs> well, he won that little contest. But here's the contest that I think will matter the most. Because coming in next for Cayman Rider, we got Eel Carcaria. Omega Eel Carcaria. Now, I feel with the armor being a factor in this match, possibly, having Eel Carcaria come in in a losing situation might not be so bad. Because in theory, should Cayman start to get hit, his bar will fill up quicker than Dino Smash as well. And that could be key here. Ooh, that's a tie. Ties will fill up the bar. So that's not the worst thing in the world for Cayman, but really needs to start getting a hit. Just can't get a hit on the... Oh, here we go. It's a heat eruption, and that heat eruption, I think, will spell disaster for the Taurosaurus. So somehow, without getting an actual hit in this match, Taurosaurus is going down. Which shows how many times we've had in this contest. And yeah, the volcano burst effect will make sure of it. Now, here's where things get fiery. Coming in next for Dino Smash, we got Omega Eel Carcaria. All the boost moves as well. This is a Dino Smash specialty, this is. I think he did it last year with Ferrazinosaurus, and it had mixed results. But, got using Omega Eel Carcaria, you're going big this year. Now, Cayman does have the bar higher up, so they'll get the armor before Dino Smash does. But, but will Dino Smash kill the Eel area before Cayman gets that chance? So here it comes. Attack boost, attack boost, defense boost, everything boost. another tie, but heat eruption is a factor. And still Cayman can't get a hit in this match. And still he can't, and I think, is that going to be lethal for Eokark? Oh, this is not good. Oh, only just, but can't afford a tie now. Needs to get some hits on the board and needs them quick. Okay, there we go. There's a crit. Finally, Cayman gets their first shot of the match. But yeah, look at that. Flare Sword will help. Now, despite the buffed up Eel Carcaria, one Omega Phoenix will be lethal. But can Cayman get to that stage? He'll need to get two hits in a row here. Oh, that tie's going to do it. Oh, and he got the fig up as well. Bless him. Right. Coming in third for Cayman, we got Spinosaurus, and it's going to have to pull its weight here. Yeah. In fact, we didn't see it at all in the first round. <laughs> Spinosaurus, very popular in this tournament. Got the water sword. I mean, it would normally have type advantage, but the Eel Carcaria doesn't have any fire moves. Cayman has to dig deep here. That's a tie, but that's only going to favour Dino Smash. As will that. And the bar's full. The bar has been fulfilled. So you know what that means. Yeah, come on, Omega! 
Well, this is it now for Cayman. One hit from the Eocarcaria ends this contest. And there it is! It's Dino Smash's victory! And let's be honest, Cayman Rider has been absolutely smashed in this match. And Dino Smash will go 2-0 up, 2-0 in this tournament. And you have to say, it's looking ominous for the rest of the teams in this group. You could argue that Dino Smash has had the two toughest matches so far in this group as well. And yep, there it is. Bonus point victory for Dino Smash over Cayman. Well, I thought it would be a much more even contest than that, but yeah. Cayman, what, one hit in the match? Yeah, it happens. Right, let's have a look at the table and we can end the session. Well, Group C opening up a bit there. You got Dino Smash Silver Knights on seven points. And you have Mr. Ferry, Cayman Rider, Kaz, and Team Argentina all level on four points. You know, I think everyone that won this round got a bonus point win. Some really one sided matches. And then we have these two poor saps still yet to win in this tournament. But the biggest surprise, Navan, 0 oh 2. Their next game is going to be massive. And as for Ravgram, it doesn't get easier for them because they're taking on Dino Smash next. And as for Navan, they're going up against Mr. Ferry. That's going to be a massive cop. That's going to be a massive match for Navan to get right back in this group. Because you don't want to be cut adrift early. Remember, the top four go through and the bottom four go home. Right, we're going to end the session here. So I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, ta-ta.